Oh, now. Dad? <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> Yeah. Everyone, Bob Bush, North Prairie Livestock Company. And today it's day before Thanksgiving, and we got our, we just moved our cattle out here on a new paddock. And we, this is some of our uh, winter stockpile forage that we had stocked up earlier this summer. And this is also one of our pastures that we had renovated about two years ago. And we've, and uh, it's taken a few years, but we're getting a nice stand of grass. And, um, what we have in here, we kind of have a mix of a mix of different grasses. We've got some alfalfa, red clover, smooth uh, meadow brome, a little bit of smooth brome. We got some fescue, orchard grass. Uh, we've got some. Well, we, we we had some chicory, and we have some. What else have we got in this thing? Chicory and some plantain. And there's a few other species of grass that I mentioned that. I can't remember right off the top of my head what we put in here, but anyways, we, we have a nice uh, stockpile here, as you can see. Uh, we're we're here in Nebraska, in the eastern part of Nebraska, and it's been a fairly decent fall, and the grass is still nice and green, and the cattle are happy to be on this right now. We have uh, a few more acres of this nice winter stockpile stuff. Um, I really like. Uh, this is grass mix, especially the meadow brome. I feel like the meadow brome is uh, kept a little bit, a little bit greener and more palatable this time of year. Um, a lot of times, most of our pastures are primarily smooth brome, and a lot of times the smooth brome uh, goes dormant fairly early, especially after a, a couple killing frosts and the weather gets colder. And we've we've had that. And uh, we've had some weather, we've gotten here a couple of weeks ago, we had a pretty good ice storm and it got down about 8 degrees and it, you know, it killed off quite a bit of our grass and some different species like that, or it's starting to go dormant anyways. And, um, but this pasture has done really well considering it's, it's been a, only a couple years here since establishment. We're pretty pleased with it. The cattle are really happy with it. We got a... A nice pasture to graze here and we're going to be moving on like i said we're going to be, mo be moving them on to some other pasture like this that we had established here a couple years ago as well doing some pasture innovations and again this is our south pole herd and they're pretty happy it's it's been uh this fall's been fairly decent we've had some 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 cold shots but otherwise it's stayed well, I guess for us it's fairly mild. It's today's about I don't know 34, and here it's going now. And later this week it's supposed to get in the 50s, uh, and hopefully it'll stay nice for a few more weeks before we get uh, real cold weather this winter. And uh, so we, we've had pretty good regrowth. This is the third pass that we've had on it on this uh, pasture this year. Um, We've been in a drought. Well, we were in a drought. Um, basically, the rain stopped. The rain stopped in, in May, and we finally had got we finally got some rain here about the middle to well, when was that? It's probably later October. We finally got some rain and it helped green our pastures up again. Otherwise, they were looking pretty pretty rough. And those uh, few shots of rain that we got helped green things up. And I mean, you can see here we got a pretty good stand of grass for, for us this time of year it's pretty good you know I'm glad that we have stockpiled this coming in, into this time of year it's definitely helped us you know we don't have to feed hay right now or anything like that so it's been great to be able to graze this um, and you can see here we got some, alf some alfalfa this alfalfa got frost killed here but there's still there's still some alfalfa underneath here that the cattle are, are nipping off that's still nice and green and and we've got, uh, there's, there's not much red clover. The alfalfa really grows good here in our soils, which is fine, but uh, you just have to sometimes watch so you don't have, have too much alfalfa. But uh, generally, when uh, once you have a, a couple killing frost, you don't have to worry about alfalfa as much as causing bloat or anything like that. But um, anyways, just wanted to 
show you. Here, you can take a picture of this. They're all pretty happy. They're, we're, and again, we're, we're going to kind of go through here and just try to maybe take the, the top third or, or, or just kind of the, the tops of these plants because we, we do want to come back here hopefully later in the later in the winter and make one more pass through through this pasture so we don't have to feed so like I said what we're really trying to do is just min, min, minimize what we're feeding in hay so that saves us some money and, uh, and that's one of the bigger expenses with the grazing or the cow calf operation is your winter feed costs and that's what we're trying to uh, avoid is feeding a lot of hay so we can save some money and uh, anyways everybody